All right, you guys, we're back here again up in the booth here as they uh, do a little uh, ceremonial purposes down there. Uh, we have the MC here of the uh, International Powell here in Red Deer, Mr. Donnie Spidell. Dante. Howdy. How are you doing, brother? Good, good, good. Good to see you. So, uh, you're, you, you've been uh, been around the block, as they say, in uh, in the Powell <laughs> Circle. And I say it in a good way, obviously, for uh, you, 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 you dancing, emceeing, and and you, you know, I know you had your, uh, your you have your travel uh, show that goes around. But I want to touch it. We'll touch up on that later. I want to talk about your involvement here with the uh, Powell Times Powell, the third annual, and you know, going back to the first one. You know, uh, you look at the, uh, you know, uh, Pat and Marissa. You yes. know, some folks that, uh, you know, they had a dream, a vision. You know, and 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 truly, if you if you know them personally, you know, they uh, always wanted to do thing for. You. For young people, for youth, and people who live in urban settings, yeah. you know, urban people are really needing, uh, you know, some place to uh, interact and have connection to culture and history, you know, place to create an identity. And so, I know in uh, Pat and Marissa's upbringing, you know, that was something that was so critical and key to to their success today, is uh, is that they were able to be plugged into culture and somewhere in there it created an insi uh, inspire inspired hope and motivation yeah. for them yeah. and so um, that's what you see here you know this yeah. is something to give back and and in a place that's um, not common for having cultural events you know we're right here in uh, Red Deer and uh, it's, it's uh, creating a, a great atmosphere here the third annual you know and so um, it's just awesome to be a part of it to see it unfold and uh, just uh, it's inspiring yeah so you've been part of the first one right yes first and second what are you what are your thoughts on the growth are you surprised like obviously I was here last year and this year it's a lot bigger and guaranteed next year it's gonna be bigger. What are your thoughts on that growth? Are you surprised at all? Well, I, I think it's just you got the right people doing the right things. You know, yeah. you get a you get a, a, a combination of people that have uh, lived this, this power away uh, as a lifestyle and you, and you know how to be treated. You know what types of things that you wanna do um, and how to treat travelers. You know, yeah. people know that they, they can trust that this is a, uh, this is a good place to come with their families. They'll travel hundreds of hours to be here uh, uh, to come and share their, their gifts and talents. And, yeah. and, and that's really what uh, Pat had done over the years is uh, he traveled and made a name for himself on the dance floor. And then he certainly has um, done that for others to be able to promote their lifestyle and to promote their craft. Yeah. Yeah. Can we go back to your special? You had your special here and uh, your 50th birthday here. So happy birthday, brother. Hey, thank you. Um, you know, that. I, I put on a special really quick there in Soto was my first one. I wanted to get back, you know, people hiring IOPS and stuff. I wanted to put back. Let's talk about really quick what goes behind a special. Is it sometimes like how I do it really quick or is it like a year long thing where you, there's a lot going on behind? I guess it kind of depends. I mean, you know, if there's, you know, sometimes like we saw last evening, there's memorials. Uh, people will plan in some cases, you know, they'll commit to four years uh, of a memorial to honor and recognize uh, loved ones that have gone on. Um, and, you know, like, and there's organizations and businesses and people who give back because, uh, you know, they just feel so much gratitude and they, they want to give something back and share it with the people for the success that they receive. Um, in the case of uh, my, my uh, personal honoring by my children, uh, my adopted children, uh, this was something, you know, it's a milestone for me, you know, halfway to 100 or whatever. <laughs> and so, uh, um, you know, it, it was a few months of planning and, you know, they called called uh, here. They knew that, you know, Pat and Marissa are, are good family friends. And so, um, yeah, and we had some contributors that came forward, you know, and, and, and put uh, help to sponsor, put some some private money up and stuff. And I was yeah. really grateful for, for those individuals. Um, and uh, and lo and behold, you know, we were able to, um, you know, bring some fancy dancers uh, yeah. to the to the forefront. And there's some really awesome uh, young fancy dancers that are up and coming and uh, they brought so much uh, uh, atmosphere here. There was great vibe here. So, um, yeah, it was really nice to be a part of that. For yourself, you were a fancy dancer back in the day, right? Yes. And uh, it, w what's it like when you, you, you said you, you see the up-and-comer uh, fancy dancers? Or are you are you grateful that it's going to be uh, going on for future generations more and more, like it's in good hands? Yes. Uh, you know, I, I never had any, uh, uh, any birth uh, sons, you know, and so... Um, I'm always grateful for the next generation to, uh, you know, my daughters uh, uh, 
you know, all danced their own categories and had their own, you know, um, lives in the world of uh, power. Yeah. Uh, but when I see this young generation of uh, male uh, dancers coming up, yes, uh, the trends and the uh, just the the amount of uh, training that goes into uh, yeah. dancing now. I mean, nowadays it it seems as though we have. Um, you know, so many different things like YouTube and live streams that you can go back to to study the songs that you can go back to and, and just really hone in um, different movements and styles. And uh, yes, it's, it's, it's really evolved and emerged. And, you know, I, I hope someday, you know, Creator will will me to dance again. Uh, I've recently gone through a lot of uh, hardship with my knees. And so mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll ever get to fancy dance again. But I really uh, always inspired by this young generation of uh, just their uh, uh, what they're bringing nowadays. You know, it's so uh, it's top notch. Yeah. So going to the MC, I know you've been an MC for many many years. Uh, what what makes it so special when you do MC? I know when we do broadcasting like this, it's it's so awesome because you get to hear all the stories. What's what's it set apart with uh, when you guys do your MCing? You know, I know a lot of you guys have your own little sayings and stuff. You know, like what does it take to to get to that point? I guess. Well, you know, uh, this is uh, you know a number of years into it, and I was always. Uh, grateful for those uh, MCs, those Iyapahas that came before us. Yep. And so uh, so we say that term or that role is the Iyapaha, the one that have uh, been given position to, to speak uh, traditionally, uh, customarily. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of the, the old greats. Uh, some are still with us and some are, are not. But they, they set a platform, they set a stage, you know, and we, we were able to see uh, and uh, the, just the, the conveyance and the beauty that they had and the appreciation they had for this lifestyle. And, and our whole value system overall is as tribal people. But they were to articulate and tell stories and give us this worldview and give us insight to the things that uh, sometimes we couldn't hear in schools or in history books, you know. And so they were really the conveyors of, of, of helping us to understand uh, our worldview and our approach to life, you know. And so when we're here at the powwow, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, we're, you know, in some of these bigger international uh, platforms, uh, it's such a fast-paced time, so storytelling and some of the historical origins and stuff is hard to fit in. But it's good for to have a live stream and things going on because you know historians yourself. I mean, you're part of that digital storytelling, you know, and it, which is such an enrichment, enhancement to our people. And so this is a great platform, and you know, I, I guess lo and behold. Uh, good or bad or ugly or whatever uh, during COVID you know this became something that yeah. was a tool that uh, you know we had all been thinking about it, but to to know that there's technology here now that can facilitate this um, we're going to be better people because of it and, and I, and I want to say you, thank you to you publicly for doing all the work that you do in the communities and, and it's preserving the culture I mean years from now we'll look back and we'll be able to say hey here's, here, here's what was going on Here's some of the great things that we're here, and, and so you're you're preserving uh, a part of our of our legacy, you know. And so it, it's good, and um, we too, you know, we try to, uh, like you said, we all have our own little unique um, personalities, and you know, some of us are characters too, and <laughs> but um, but it, it's always with this idea of this intent to that we're we're um, we're trying to promote, you know, this this beautiful way of life, and and that. There's, there's something real precious here and something that, um, you know, we were denied for a long time. So to be able to live this and, and, and be able to walk this way of life is, is so comforting and so empowering. You know? Awesome. Well, we're going to go back to Is there anything you want to say to everyone out there before we head back? Well, just have a good day to everybody out there, you know. I uh, wish you all good health and happiness and uh, uh, safe travels. And uh, for those of you that are at home, uh, you know, just uh, hope that you have a good day doing doing all the stuff you do on, uh, on Sunday chores or whatever it is. Enjoy yourself. So thank you very much. Uh, all right, Aaron. thank you. There you guys go, Donnie Spidell, one of the MCs here at the Third Annie International Pow Wow here, put on by Pow Times Deer, Red Deer, in the Treaty Six territory. We're going to head back down to the main floor to enjoy the festival.